It's not fresh baked. <laughs> You're not fresh baked. You're the other people that we know. Hello, dorky people. The dorks. What are they called again? The ramblers? Yeah. Okay, that's how long it's been since we've done a video on this channel that we forgot what we call you fine people. <laughs> Uh, ramblers, we're not rambling, we're staying in this kitchen right here. Uh, because uh, this young lady here thinks that she's gonna make a... A, a dead man's meatloaf. A dead meat man's meatloaf. Meat uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna nail it tonight. Nailed it. <laughs> it's a great show. I don't know if you watch it. it yeah, I've seen it a little bit. Yeah, it yeah. started out like a Pinterest thing, like people, or like memes, yeah. like, oh, the yeah. Pinterest unicorn cake. So you saw something. I wanted to do something Halloween-y tonight and I look up Halloween recipes and there's a lot out there and there's a Halloween meatloaf and I love meatloaf the only meatloaf you ever not... have is a Stouffer's I do love some Stouffer's meatloaf but no I, my dad Stouffer's my mom, lasagna by the way I love Stouffer's good. actually honestly um no I, yeah my mom and dad always would make meatloaf so I think that was one of the things I would eat growing up right. and it was a dead man's meatloaf yeah. it looked pretty easy I want to say comfort food yeah well, really all it is is like it can't how hard can it be you can make a meatloaf because the meat is pretty pliable. You can make, you can shape ground beef any way you want, really. Right? Yeah, no, totally. So make it look like a make it look like a man. Also, we're gonna try to make because I'm not a baker per se, so we'll do another nailed it dessert. What I mean, there's, it's not really a decor though, but it's um, Trader Joe's pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. <laughs> My muffin. sister goes crazy over this, and I'm gonna add chocolate chips. I'm actually gonna make chocolate it in chips and muffin and oh, pumpkin yeah. bread. Or bread? Yeah, pumpkin bread with a little. That doesn't make chocolate. any sense at all. I already hate it. But I'm not a good baker, so we'll, you know, this will be the nail that testing. <laughs> That's all of the ingredients. Yes. Pretty basic stuff: eggs, your celery, your onion, your minced garlic, breadcrumbs, ketchup. I love a lot of ketchup with my um, meatloaf. And in the that, dead. That's a lot of ketchup. No, I know, but you know, I feel like we're gonna probably use all of this, and then so I have, oops, back up. Got our ground beef, and then we're gonna do our side. We're gonna have two starches. We're gonna have corn. I'm down with two starches, and man. You know what? Potatoes. I want to talk to man who said we can't do that. If it's okay to eat a Big Mac for dinner, it should be okay to eat two starches. Totally. Right? Yeah. Like if you got no problem eating a burrito supreme from Taco Bell, then you should have no problem eating two starches. Why, why all of a sudden when we're cooking at home do we gotta slay, be a slave of these stupid rules. veggie starch rules? Yeah, no, totally. Right? Hopefully my trainer's We like working. shit. Let's let us own it. <laughs> now, wait, 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 oh. we're not rolling. Okay, never rolling. So I have to prep really quick. So I have to chop everything up, which I need help with you. For By me. the way, this is our spacious <laughs> kitchen. Ignore the Krispy Kreme donut box. Why? I told you, own it. We're having two starches and donuts. All right? <laughs> if you don't like it, y'all can suck it. She's pregnant. Yeah, and I had to, I had to try the pumpkin glaze at Krispy Kreme, and they're amazing. Now, when she says she has to try the pumpkin glaze, and she I, means I have to buy a dozen donuts, and one of those well, and also will be a pumpkin glaze. Donut. Also, I got you some maple. <laughs> I and, do love a maple pie. Um, I got a sour glaze, which I think you ate this morning. The, oh, the, yeah. I and I tried the pumpkin one. This one, the pumpkin, um, like uh, old fashioned. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. But then how the pumpkin cream filled ones. All right, stop looking. I gotta chop. Okay. So there's some onion. Uh huh. And there's some celery. We didn't only have cup bread. Right? I, I have no idea how many. Of what we did. That seems like way too much onion to me. It says right there one onion chopped. That's a chopped onion. We're gonna put that in a meatloaf. I love onion though, so I mean I'm not complaining. Why are you crying? <laughs> Why are you being a little bitch about dinner? Why are you crying? I just wanted to be perfect. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. She she can't handle onions, you guys. I really can't. Like that was like a hard thing, like in Subway. Like I like no, you guys. I can't cut the onion. Sorry. Look at Subway for like a month. I don't want to talk about it. Well, how have I been with you for three, four years? <laughs> I told you that. Did you worked at Subway? Or like three months. It was like three months. Yeah. All right. Okay. Listen. Can you compose yourself and no. make some dinner? <laughs> Come on. Okay. So we need to melt the butter.
Look at it. It's gone. It's evaporating. Yeah. It's gone. And then transfer the vegetables into a mixing bowl and allow it to cool. Okay, go. Tablespoon. Celery. What are we doing here? We are getting the vegetables ready to This is just, we're just cooking loaf. the vegetables and then, that, and then that gets mixed in with the meatloaf. Correct. And then you bake it. Correct. How's the baby doing? Sleeping. She's sleeping right now? When I move around, when I don't move around, she goes crazy. Yeah? yeah. She's gonna wake up when you eat though. It smells good already. You know what smells good is cooked butter. <laughs> With garlic, like hell yeah. Yeah, oh that's oh yeah, that's that, that's that's what I'm smelling. Um how much how, how many weeks do we have left? Um if we put this up after Monday, six. Six weeks? She'll be thirty-four weeks. Uh on Monday. Remember that one time when we were driving the car and I said to throw out your birth control and we'll make a baby and then yeah. we did? Almost a year later, but yeah, we did it. Um, after our wedding day at the courthouse on Friday the 15th. Is it that day? Mm -hmm. On the day we got on the wedding day? On our wedding day, I got off birth control. I hit someone with my birth control pill. In the face? In the face. Like, oh, the face! Like, oh, what was that? It's my birth control. <laughs> Now you can't have a baby because it's in your face. <laughs> We're gonna make a baby. How long did it take us? Nine months. To conceive? Yeah. Took us nine months to conceive. Nine months. I mean, we we had a I guess a false pregnancy. I that got. is nine hundred times longer than it took me to conceive Tristan. I know. <laughs> For someone who only had one ovary too. Such much. That's not even right. Yeah, that's that's like they're tricking me. You know? So I'm saying. Yeah, take notes now. People are trying to conceive. Get off birth control. Well, that's what I was trying to tell you. Because you were like, you, you thought you had to be like this. She's very particular. Well, I mean, someone said they got knocked up like three and four months after getting off birth control. And I wanted that. Right. You just think that everybody's story is yours. and you, But you're going to have your own story. Yeah. I mean, right? there's people who take like two to five years to create a child. It takes years or never. Yeah. I just, I just have, you know, these... You know, bad thoughts because of my mom. Yeah. You know, well, so. wait, she had one or two? She had like five. Five? Okay, her mom and, had five and, miscarriages. And one of them was a son of twins. And then she had my brother. Wait a second. Your dad. Jesus. Is that Italian, <laughs> this man? Let me tell you. Are you keeping that like, oh, yeah, that's 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 just, more? Okay. Dad's just trying to make some babies. Um, but that was. Wow, five. So I, I can, think, I think, I would have to ask my aunt, she remembers, but one of them were a set of twins. Wow. And then, then she had my brother, who had a birth defect, only lived for 10 days. Then she had me a year later, and then Bridget, five and a half years later, at the age of 40. Right. So, and during this process, it's very possible when my mom started developing MS. Oh, really? It brought it back when, when she had me. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna preheat the oven. Preheat it. And we're gonna start. Do me a favor, when you preheat it, say bam. Bam! Preheat, oven light. <laughs> and then place a sheet of aluminum foil onto a baking sheet. We have a baking sheet, don't we? we have, I don't know if we have aluminum foil. We don't have any aluminum foil. But we can just use. Should, candle, I, go right? the, should I go run the big no. box? Yeah! We have four boxes of saran wrap. And not a single, well, not a single thing of tinfoil. Okay, now it's time to, I have to preheat again. Bam! Do we make gingerbread or gingerbread? Do we make the man now? It says preheat the oven, we did that. Place a sheet of aluminum foil onto a baking sheet and spray with non cooking spray. Done. Crack the eggs into the mixing bowl with the vegetables and mix until the egg is smooth. Crack eggs. I'm wow. really hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> I think we're a long way from eating this meatloaf too. You ever stop to consider that an egg is an unborn chicken yeah, fetus? Yeah, uh, you know what? You just you don't think about it. Because I love eggs. I'm sorry, egg, that you never became a chicken. If only just to have your head cut off and eaten by one of us. I guess 
why people go vegan. <laughs> but I love eggs. Humans are terrible people. We really are, but I do love eggs. That is a lot of onion. That is just so onion? much frickin' onion. I'm sorry, cow, <laughs> that you didn't ever get to be a happy cow and that you were just raised for us to eat you. What time did we become vegans? Never when you start. I mean, I, I told myself if it ever got to a point like that in life, I think I would be okay. Perfect. Look how pregnant she is, you guys. <laughs> Just honking baby in her stomach. There is a baby inside me. She is sleeping. She is happy and sleeping. Yep. And then we're gonna make him into a man. <laughs> no, so baby, no. That is just a wad. All right, now we gotta make it to a man. <laughs> he looked like a man. Did you just append his neck? Yeah, he's, he's a really muscular guy. <laughs> it's Arnold Schwarzenloaf. Well, that looks awful and great at the same time. So we put this baby. This baby? Yeah, that dead man in the oven for 35 minutes. Should we name it Sophie? No, we'll name him Carl. 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 Come on, Carl. We'll be right back. You know, when the door's closed, just just say go. <laughs> go! Oh my. That oh looks God. like one cooked meatloaf. Oh. In there. It's so funny though, inside. I don't think it says to bring up the heat or anything, but we just, we're just gonna add the eyes. Yeah, what are we doing? We're putting the eyes and, and, and some guts on there? Help me! I've oh been no. cooking at 350 degrees for 35 oh. minutes. They did just some corn. Oh no. But I feel like that that's funnier. Mr. Bill. Oh really? Yeah. Not the control bonnet. So does it have to like we don't have to put that in there, right? You don't have to like oh, she's just gonna mess him up. He's I am so hungry. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's put this guy wait, in there for wait, ten more minutes. Say? How's it going? It is time. Do it. Stab it. No! So this is what it's supposed to look like. What? That's that's the source. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I found. We have a corn mouth. We didn't make a corn mouth. We made a Mr. Bill mouth. Uh, that and that's ours. Um, I think that looks good. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> he certainly does look dead. I guess uh, all that's left now is to eat it, right? Just, just eat the poor, eat poor Carl. Carl. You know, actually, if he was Carl. Wants a leg. Yeah, let's, oh my God! Did you already dismember Carl? <laughs> ah! <laughs> there should be blood. Oh my God. <laughs> well, there we go. That's our plated. X Carl, zombie Carl. Now we gotta eat it. This is my first time making meatloaf, by the way. Ever? Ever. Good. Carl's delicious. Yay! <laughs> Stay tuned now for Can Liz Bake. We're doing more. We're gonna. This is at the end of the video. That next. So would you say I nailed it, both visually and f and taste? I would say that you nailed it. Yes! Did you clean the kitchen? I did. You're a beast. I know. <laughs> wow. She already cleaned. Look at this. It's like it never happened. It kind of happened. I can kind of tell the floor, but that's okay. I, it never happened. Well, that's what my dad always taught me. My dad always taught to clean and cook at the same time. So you don't have that's to not what we did, though. All 
right. Well, so. what we're gonna do instead of cleaning, because you already did it, is make yeah. this thing right there. Yes, I've never made this before. Pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. Yeah, we're gonna make the muffins. It's actually the muffins. Are you bread. sure you want to put it on camera? You your baking up? abilities. <laughs> she of the cookie soup. No, you remember cookie soup, I don't right? Remember cookie soup. <laughs> but it still tasted really good. It tasted like a cookie <laughs> that you drank from a cup. No, it smells weird. I'll talk about Does it smell like pumpkin? No. I thought it would, but it doesn't. How come you're not wearing your apron? Oh. We've been cooking this whole night. One cup of water. Baby, no. And the baking adventures continue. <laughs> what am I suck at this? <laughs> hey, look it. You crushed the meatloaf guy. <laughs> David, no! Okay. Oh, I need to mix that first. I'm stupid. Mix it with a okay, donut. Okay, so in I don't know. So I don't have, you know, a, um, what you call it, an actual, like, mixer. I actually have a really old school manual mixer that my mom used to use. It's like 70s uh, mixer. But I'm just gonna... Well, we don't do a lot of baking, so that would take up so much space in our kitchen. In our kitchen, I mean, albeit very, very spacious, you are presently laying eyes on the entirety of our kitchen. All those? No, I'll do like half. Oh. Oh, that looks good. Okay, this seems really thick. This is about it's gonna grow too, don't forget. Right, so it's about two thirds. I don't have an actual like scooper, so wow. I'm just kinda. We are off to a fantastic <laughs> start. So I had like, like two scoops would be good. There we go. That should be good. Sure. Alright, well, we'll uh, when you're done doing that, we'll get them in the oven, I guess. Well, those look well distributed, evenly spread with your spoon technique. Yeah, I have a lot left over, so actually I might make some of the pumpkin bread. Oh my god. All right. Here goes nothing. Bake it. Put it in the oven and bake it. Okay. Hi. At 400 degrees. Give me the muffins. So these are the muffins. Well, they look muffiny. They look well portioned again. Ooh, is that a cake? I kind of made like a pumpkin bread cake, yeah. It's a pumpkin bread cake. <laughs> it works with what I have. It looks like an enormous chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> yeah, I do. I've been using them as when my candles get too low. David Clarence, why can't you just wait? It's a cookie, I love it. It is, it is a giant cookie. I'm so proud of my muffins though. Like, well, we have to eat them. Yeah, no. Baby, they look good. They look good, That's Yay! half the battle. Nailed it! <laughs> I don't know if there's like a Pinterest like, Perfect muffins, but choco, choco chip. Yeah, and for people who are gluten free, these are gluten free. No, yeah. they're I, fun Friday night. Where's my extra gluten? <laughs> Wait, did you eat one? Okay, go ahead. It's really moist. It's like a pizza. My very own pumpkin chocolate pizza. Well, <laughs> we're gonna take these muffins and cookie pie thing that we baked. We got ourselves a glass of milk, a little milk. Baby, you wanna take the honors? You wanna yeah, the first? I do. I wanna try this. We're finally winding down. We have, I feel like we've been, we, have, we haven't relaxed during this whole thing. <laughs> this is like the final culmination.
Wow. That is rich. Is it really? Mm -hmm, Too much chocolate? Good. No. Oh, pumpkin. Just imagine like a pumpkin pie, like baked. Feed you a little bit. Oh, God. Oh. Is this the cake? That is really moist. I'll say this. They are tasty. They are tasty. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know. Yeah. Why am I like... I don't know. I'm not even sure why I'm hedging. It tastes like it's supposed to. It tastes like pumpkin brownies or pumpkin muffins with, with chocolate chips in it. But my pumpkin cake or... Uh -huh. It's supposed to be bread, but because I did a thinner... Yeah. I used a pie pan. Oh, the pan. Yeah, pan. That's all I had, though. Yeah. And it, you know, it's not risen too high. It's not bread. No, it tastes like cake. Yeah, it's not bread. It's it's, it's a very moist cake. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's very tasty. One more bite. Sure. With chocolate. More chocolate. Mmm. Chocolate, chocolate chip. Sister's idea for. Pretty much, yeah. I think you nailed it. That never happened. I think you nailed it. We murdered a Carl. We did. We murdered a Carl meatloaf, uh, and we, you, did not, destroy the muffins. I can't. <laughs> I can bake, kind of. I tried making cupcakes at one time, and it was a disaster. Mm. So, yeah, I'll, just, um, I I'll, I'll start out easy. Like yeah. That. Uh, well, that was fun. Um, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, Ramblers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.